Hello and welcome to one of the training videos on the ICA Association database. My name is Willy and I will be telling you more in this video about big data. If, if you have any questions, please contact us through our website www.icaworld.com or find us on Twitter or Facebook. Alright, let's begin. Big data. Big data is a tool that has been developed by ICA member Human Equation to help you identify local champions, ambassadors who can be of assistance in getting a congress to your destination. So if you have identified a lead in the database, a series that could come to your destination but without a key contact, then you can use the big data tool to find a potential champion yourself. And it is called big data because you can find so much information with this tool. At the moment it holds information on 13,500 universities and institutions and it monitors 7.5 million academic authors. Now let's go through the steps. First you go to the ICA homepage, icaworld.com. Then you log in to your My, Login, My ICA section. Then you go to the Association Database, the third tab. When you click on it, you will see this page. So there will be no longer Series Events, Hot Leads and Destination Comparison Report. The Destination Comparison Report is now incorporated in the ICA Statistics tool. You will see this button called Big Data Search. And if you click on Big Data Search, you will see this page, Big Data Explorer. This gives you four options. One, discover local champions. Two, explore industry topics. Three, track leads on your website. And four, infos and stats. And if you have any issues or need help, then there is also this handy button. But first, let's discover local champions. When you click on this button, you can fill in a city in which you want to find local champions or potential ambassadors. A menu will appear from which you then select the city of your choice. You can also select the Locate Me option. So let's use as an example my hometown Amsterdam. So I type in Amsterdam, click on it, and then I click on the arrow Choose an Organization. And on the right, here appears a list of organizations based in Amsterdam within 50 kilometers range. I can also choose 10 kilometers or 100 kilometers. The next step is choosing a generic term. So the topic of the series you want to attract to your city of choice. So if we click here, we can choose. Let's choose medical sciences. And you see immediately a second button appears, choose a term. Now I can make it more specific. So here I have all sorts of options within medical sciences. And I will choose neurology just as an example. Now you see that in my column of organizations, several of these organizations are highlighted, which means that these organizations have people who are knowledgeable in the field of neurology. Let me just click on the first one, the University of Amsterdam. You see that they have more than 13,000 authors within the organization and more than 5,000 publications on their name. If I click here, I'm going to explore potential champions. So let's do that. We are now leaving this ICA tool and we are entering Microsoft Academic Search. 
as you can see here at the left. And you see a list of names of people knowledgeable in the field of neurology and neuroscience. Here you see all the topics they know something about. You see the number of publications on their name. But what maybe is more interesting is citations. The number of times their work has been quoted, cited by other people. If you want to know more about this person, just click on the name. You'll see that they are um, linked to the University of Amsterdam. Here are all the publications on his name. You see that more and more other people are talking and writing about him and his work. Here you see the names of co-authors who could maybe also be of interest to you, the journals that the publications have been uh, written in, and here some key words. So, but what the tool cannot do yet is trace if a champion has been involved in Congress activities recently. We intend to integrate external and internal data searches in the second phase of the development, so that you will be able to see if a champion appears in the association or event URLs that we hold in our database. For now, it's up to you to make that additional research. Of course, we would like to ask you to be careful when contacting the champion, not to bombard them with messages. As of now, I will show that to you in the database, every series profile in the online database displays the subject matters of the meeting as hyperlinks. So if we just go into a profile, any profile, the subjects will, will be hyperlinks. A uh, profile can have a maximum of three subjects and these can be explored in the big data search individually, not in combination. Clicking on medical sciences slash oncology, for instance, will display the champions in this particular field in or near your destination. Now, if you have finished your search, you can go back to your original search by clicking here at the top right and you can go back to navigation desk by clicking on this button. The second option, explore industry topics. Here you can find top publications and top universities on an industry or term, a topic. So not on location. If you click on a publication in the left column, let's just first choose an industry. So let's stick with our original example, medical science, and then neurology. Here at the left you see top publications in this field, and on the right the top universities in this field. If you use the right column and click on the head, so click on the head of Harvard University to find a person connected to a particular university. You again are then sent to Microsoft Academic Search. And if you click on the icon of a book, you will find articles published by this top university. Again, in the second phase of development, we would like to link the top universities to your specific location. For the time being, it lists the institutions globally. So let's go back to our navigation and try button number three, track leads on your website. Here you can find out who is checking your website. This could be a potential client. Sign in with your Google account 
ask your technical developer to find out. After logging in and password, this is what you'll see. Let's use ICA as an example. Here we are looking at who has visited www.icaworld.com today. These are all the company names that visited the ICA World website. This is how many times they visited today. I just clicked on one of them, KC Praha AS. They spent 21 minutes on our website. They viewed 45 pages and they visited 20 times. Here you can see their website, so we can check who they are. Maybe they are interested in membership or maybe we are interested in them to be members. They are based in Prague, the Czech Republic. And here on the pages, we click on open report and we can see which pages on the ICA website they visited. Are they interested in marketing? Are they interested in our Congress? Um, and this is all in chronological order. The last page they visited is at the top. So this is something you can then check and see what these people are interested in. Maybe you can help them, give them more information on the topic. If you think they are so interesting, you want to make them priority, you can sign them up as being a lead this, by clicking on this button. See, we already saved one lead. If they are a company that you do not trust or you have had bad experience with, you can even click here and put them on your own personal blacklist. So everybody within your organization will know not to contact them. You can also check if you go all the way to the bottom, who visited your page yesterday and even further back into the past. So this is a great way of checking who is visiting your website, which pages are popular and which pages may not be visited as much as you want them to vis be visited. Now if we go back to our Data Explorer, there is one button left, Infos and Stats. And this is where you can see how much information there really is, how much information you can find with this tool. Now 4.7 academic authors, almost 13,500 universities and organizations, almost 50 million scientific publications and more than 436 million articles. Enough for you to explore and hopefully this tool will prove very useful in finding local ambassadors. Now this concludes our training video on big data. For more guides on our ICA association database please have a look at our other training videos. If you have any questions or would like to know more, visit our website www.icaworld.com or find us on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you for watching.